Okay, happy October, everyone. This video is really going to piss off a bunch of Gen Xer stuff. My thoughts on this film. I cannot understate how creative the musical numbers are. But... There are some problems with this. The film opens up with Brad and Janet attending a friend's wedding and the cross looms over them. And this symbolizes the Christian culture we live in. That even those of us who aren't Christian live in this culture with Christian expectations set upon us. That society is based on a lot of Christian values, even though not all of us are Christian, and those are imposed on us. And it in a sense, this is the heterosexual culture shown in here. It is seen as the image of normalcy. But this film is a subversion of that, which I'll give it credit for. However, I feel like it goes in directions I wouldn't have gone in. And it is a musical, like, Damn It Janet is a very good song. Like, I'm not even going to deny that. It's a hell of a tune. Brad and Janet end up getting a flat tire and stumbling on Frankenfurner's manor and things start to go awry. Yes, Time Warp is a banger. Although when Janet's constantly fainting throughout this, it does clearly show the level of difference in these societies. What is seen as tame and innocuous to these people is so shocking to Janet that she literally faints multiple times. And then Dr. Frankenfurter makes a grand entrance with a notable theme, which I can't play here on YouTube, but you've probably heard it before. And if not, I recommend listening to it. It's called Sweet Transvesta. And let's talk about this. Is Dr. Frankenfurter trans? Well, in the lyrics of the song Sweet Transvesta, he has the words, I'm just a sweet transvestite. Sweet transsexual from Transylvania. Now, these two words are not as commonly used in our community today, but let's break them down. So, transvestite is a crossdresser, and transsexual is a trans person. It's, they're both outdated terms, but that's sort of what they mean. And you would think, based on that explanation, that those would be contradictory, and they sort of are in this case, but let's delve deep a little bit further. There's also another line, I'm not much of a man by the light of day, but at night. That sort of indicates that Frankenfurter lives their everyday life presenting as male. I don't know what the intentions of the people who wrote this was, but this only adds to more confusion here. Because on one hand, you could say Frankenfurter is a trans guy who cross-dresses but the idea of being not much of a man during the day doesn't really support that. I think the implication here is that Frankenfurter is supposed to be assigned male at birth and somewhere in the realm of queer. I don't know exactly where to place them though. Maybe they're non-binary? I'm not really sure. Non-binary people, let me know down in the comment. However, Frankenfurter isn't exactly a good image for our community. And we'll get to that in a sec. So Bragg and Janet are stripped to get their wet clothes off. And they reveal they have no tattoos, which everyone finds a little strange. Things that go on like Frankenfurter makes a body named Rocky for his pleasure, not made for Janet's pleasure. And then there's Eddie, who's played by Meatloaf, who was the former creation of Frankenfurter. And in this film, he's beaten to death by Frankenfurter. And then suddenly Janet's gets really into muscles, okay. At the end of this musical number, there are like pedals down sort of like a wedding, which is sort of subversion as to where things were at the start of the film. Now here's why I'm not a fan of Frankenfurter. And I've talked to a lot of Gen Xers about this and they've completely forgotten this part exists. Frankenfurter is a I'm not being hyperbolic about that. He is a because he separates Brad and Janice in the separate rooms and then deceives them into having sex with him. Sex by deception is and there are even cameras all over the place so his friends can watch which is a whole nother level of creepy and invasive and non-consensual. That's also why I did not want to dress up like Frankenfurter for this video. If you've seen my videos before I like to dress up in costume. I am not dressing up like Frankenfurter. As Janice says Frankenfurter tricked them. You tricked me! I wouldn't have! That's indicating that she never would have slept with Frankenfurter 
had she known it was them. Frank and Furter is a and in the process of writing this video, I, I found some interesting stuff out online, which is that, unfortunately, throughout the United States, by deception laws aren't really a thing. They are in some states, but really not broadly enforced. And I think that's a huge problem. But we should compare this to another movie that has a very similar type scene there, which is, of course, the infamous Revenge of the Nerds. Now, I think most people in recent years have come to understand that the ending is very In fact, the whole film is very rich. Guys are really perverts and should go to prison for a long time. And this movie came out 10 years after. And my question is, what's the difference between pretending to be someone's boyfriend to sleep with them and pretending to be someone's fiance to sleep with them? There isn't. So why does Frankenfurter get a pass, but these guys don't? I'm not saying they should get a pass. I'm just saying that Frankenfurter should be condemned just like these guys. And to be clear, they don't depict Frankenfurter as a great guy because he imprisons Rocky and he also kills and serves Eddie later in the film. When it comes to stories, there are often morally gray characters that may do stuff like commit murder or in some cases cannibalism. But uh, it's not one of those things typically. There is no justifiable reason for I think it's a real problem in our society that he is glorified in this way. And yes, by the end of the film, Frankenfurter is killed in some way gets his comeuppance. But here's the thing, what is he getting his comeuppance for? Because I'd argue based on the narrative of the film, he's being condemned and killed based on what happened to Eddie. And that's bad, but that's not the only thing he did. And they very much brush over the whole stuff in this film. To be clear, if you enjoyed this film, I'm not trying to take that away from you. But you have to acknowledge the true evils of Frankenfurter. People often ignore and romanticize this guy, but really, he's a piece of I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see it uncut, you can sign up for my Patreon at patreon.com slash drag. Plan starts so as $3 a month. Thank you to my patrons, and if you haven't done so already, please give this video a like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.